Hello and good morning, it's Phil Thatch, and once again I'm back out here in the back porch blind. I scooted the blind over, which usually stays right by the house and kind of angled towards the other corner of the porch. I scooted it all the way out to the railing towards the backyard. And the reason I did that is because my peach tree is in full bloom. And last year, when the peach tree was in full bloom, during it's only about a week that that happened, so that gives me maybe one or two at the most opportunities to shoot out here. Anyway, last year I made a video, and I'll put a link to it up at the top or maybe at the end, and I was able to get shots of birds in the peach tree with the beautiful blooms, the beautiful pink blooms eating the blooms. And that was really cool. But today it's nice and in full bloom, but nobody's eating on it. So instead of shooting out that side towards the peach tree, I'm once again shooting out the normal side towards my purchase. But the blind is not in the right spot for that, so some of the backgrounds are not as good. But uh, anyway, it'll be different. And I'm using, I was going to use my 200 to 800 with the R7, which I made a video saying that's not a good idea. But after I made that video, I made another video and I learned that if I shoot at 707 millimeters and I stop down to F10, instead of shooting wide open in F9, it's a little bit sharper. Oh, chickadee. Chickadee, hello chickadee, hello chickadee. I think I just got a chickadee shot. But I don't need uh, 707 millimeters to get the purchase, so I put the 100 to 500 on. But because I learned, uh, and of course I really basically always knew that if you stop down a little bit, your images can be a little bit sharper. I thought, what would happen if I stopped down a lens that is super sharp wide open? And so today I'm shooting at f8 with the um with this lens and like right that was a 270 millimeter shot of the chickadee and at 270 millimeters i could i could have been at 5.6 but i shot it at f8 and we'll see how it looks before i saw the chickadee i've already photographed a northern cardinal and i also um saw a mockingbird so let's look at all those well, here is the cardinal shot, and it's on the branch, and this branch is right on top of the railing, and just out of the frame at the bottom is bird seed, and you can see it does have some bird seed in its mouth. This is 270 millimeters. All up here are the settings, 1 1 60th. Everything in this video is going to be F8, ISO 1250 for this one. Here is a full screen version of it, and let's look at it at 100%. Here's the Cardinal. I got three shots of it that I thought were good enough to share with you while it was over here on this perch. And this is the perch that as you follow it up, way uh, about a foot or so out of the frame is where the suet feeder is. And I think the F8 shot looks nice here. This is 270 millimeters, 1 one sixtieth, also ISO 1250, just like the Cardinal shot. And I got this one and then this one and this one so three shots all with the same settings 1 1 f8 iso 1250 pretty happy with all of them maybe this one i'm not sure which one might be my favorite but anyway the cardinal is a snarky little bird and we enjoy it when it comes to the back porch this is the chickadee shot that you saw me make and I'm still at 270 millimeters. If I wasn't holding a vlogging camera with my left hand, I would have zoomed in just a little bit. So I had to crop this a little bit more than I would have preferred. Still at 1 1 60th F8 ISO 1000 for this one. I was happy to see the little chickadee come up and it was worth interrupting the video clip I was making to get this shot. I think I just got a really decent shot of the tufted titmouse with the tuft up and, and all that stuff, nice and sharp. F8, that's the strategy of today. F8. Here is the tufted titmouse, and by now I've increased my shutter speed to 1 200th of a second. Still at F8, ISO 1000 for this one. Love it when I can catch the titmouse with its tuft poking straight up like that. And we'll look at it at 100%. You can see lots and lots of detail in this F8 shot with the 100 to 500 on the R7. Today is March 14th, and in the morning it's still pretty cool. It'll, it'll be almost tropical later today, but this morning it's 49 degrees, which is about nine and a half degrees Celsius. And uh, I just saw a chipping sparrow and 
it was high on the wrought iron so i had to angle my camera way up to get the shot with sky in the background so i i'm using automatic iso and i i overexposed i think there's a flicker over there i think anyway i overexposed uh the shot and a woodpecker beating on the house i overexposed the shot by um like two stops so that the bird wouldn't be totally black and uh, it's not a great shot but F8. This is the tiny chipping sparrow up on top of the wrought iron with sky in the background. It turned out okay. I'm not really thrilled with this shot, but it's okay. 1 200th F8 ISO 320 at 324 millimeters. We've come full circle now. The Cardinal has returned. And right after the Cardinal came back, and I don't know if I got a decent shot of it, right after the Cardinal came back, the Mockingbird came back. And honestly, I don't know if I got a decent shot of it either. But they were here, so I did my best with what they gave me. Here's another cardinal shot. I don't really like the head angle on this. I wish his head was turned a little bit more to the left. But it's okay. 1 250th F8 ISO 640. Not too shabby. Just okay. And now the Mockingbird has returned to that same perch that it was on earlier in the day. I like this shot as well. This one's 1 250th F8 ISO 640 at 254 millimeters and this one is also those same settings 254 millimeters 1 250th ISO 640 a lot of personality does the mockingbird have I got another visit from the tufted titmouse so that was really nice and the crest there's a roof up there the crest was up so always like that and here's the return of the tufted titmouse I managed to catch another shot of it with its tuft poking straight up 1 320th now F8 ISO 400 and this is a 400 millimeter shot. The titmouse is a good bit smaller bird than a mockingbird. Looks nice full screen as well, I thought. And at 100%, we can see lots of detail with the R7 and the 100 to 500. It's bright and sunny this morning, although there has been a cloud or two just every once in a while. But with the blind moved over here to the left, I've actually got better sun angle on these birds. I moved it to the right just because the when my trees fell down in the disaster video, which I guess I can put a link to that up there, um, in, in order to have the background of the Leland Cypress, I needed to move the blind over there. But it's really probably better in terms of sun angle where it is right now. Here's another male northern cardinal. Now, all of my shots today featured his tuft not poking up, but it can poke up very similar to the way the tufted titmouse and this is 1 320th F8 ISO 400, 238 millimeters. This bird's a good bit larger than the titmouse. Beautiful bird. It's hard to get their color just right when the sun's on them. And speaking of the sun being on them, I've just about, and maybe completely did, uh, clip the highlights here where the sun's reflecting off the beak. But otherwise, I like this shot pretty well. Here you can see the blind in its new location where it used to be kind of over here. But now it's in its new location, and you can see why I moved it over here, because in the background, the beautiful peach tree is out there blooming nicely. But no birds came to land in it today, so I ended up shooting this way towards all of my perches. And you can see down here where the two large Leland Cypress used to be, and now there's just stumps. And there's another tree that we planted, and it has died, so... I think I'm going to put mulberry trees right there and have birds eating the mulberries and photograph them from the blind. My stump perch, which is normally a great perch for the birds to come and get, and I put the seeds in the hole in the top, it has had no action today whatsoever, which is kind of a bummer. I hope you enjoyed today's video from out here in the backyard blind. If you did, please reach down and hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out a lot. And if you want to see some more, subscribe and hit the bell. And I sure hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.